what's up YouTube for tonight's video we have a full Pokemon Pokeball team don't say that one 50 times. So this team is based around Pokemon that look like Pokeballs, right? So this person suggested five uh, Pokemon. Um, I came up with a six being the Pokeball Vivlons. I thought that'd be um, a nice little contribution to the team. Right, people, question of the day. What Pokeball do you like the most? I probably like, out of all of them, I like Beast Ball the most. What, what do you like? Leave it below in the comment section. I want to see what the most popular Pokeball is. Right, uh, this one's done on my chat. If you liked the battle me, that's in the description of the video. And let's get into this one. This was a battle on my chat against Ryan Sparks. Speaking of Sparks, we are starting things off with my Electrode. This Electrode set was a max special attack, max speed. Uh, we've got Volt Switch, Thunder, Hidden Power, Ice, and Taunt. Uh, ability Aftermath, and item is the Shukaberry. So go for Thunder on the Arbok, doing massive damage and getting a Parahax on the first turn. And the Arbok actually wasn't able to attack. So a wonderful uh, first turn there for me. Uh, now I can go for the Volt Switch and just finish off the Arbok. So a magical first turn there. Um, I, I'm getting lucky, guys. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a miracle. Right, so Arbok's down. And uh, the left right obviously is going to go back to me. So I thought, well, since I let off my Electro, let's go into Voltorb now. So this Voltorb set is pretty cool as well. Obviously, it's based around uh, Volt Switch and T-Volt this time. Now it's got uh, Hidden Power Grass, and it also has Miracle. So uh, I went for the Miracle here, right? I was like, yes, it's going to go for a Sludge Bomb, right? And it poisons me, so my Focus Sash actually isn't going to kick in. Then the Miracle is going to uh, kick in on the Victory Bell. I was like, oh, this is cool. But then it lives on like one health with the Focus Sash itself. So we both actually had Focus Sash. But I got poison, right? And I could have outsped with Volt Switch and taken it out. Oh, come on! How unlucky is that? Uh, unfortunately, uh, that's going to be my Volt Orb out of the battle. But now I can swap in my Electrode and go for the Volt Switch. I thought, like, I, I thought, like, after those first two turns, right? This is amazing. I, you know, I'm getting really lucky in this battle. But uh, then my good luck turned into bad luck. I should have known. Right, so Volt uh, Electrode is a uh, Electrode and Volt Orb. Um, swapping out of the battle and uh, going into my Among Us. So this Among Us was a physical set. It's got some amazing physical moves, people. Right, uh, so I gave this one a foul play, which is always handy on it. I gave it Seed Bomb and Stab. We've got max health and max attack, by the way, as the EVs. I've also got a Rollout and Giga Impact. Rollout is just, it's meta, people. You can go follow that on the fire types. So Rollout does amazing damage to the Weezing. Weezing, I know, is getting a little bit scared. So it's going to go for the Flamethrower on my Amuga skin. Now, I've actually got Assault Vest as the item, so I'm tanking those hits really nicely. I've got Regenerator as the ability to, so I can just tank some hits and uh, swap it out. It's really quite nice. And it uh, works with the Fungus as well. So now the uh, Flamethrower is coming from the Weezing again. I think I can probably uh, maybe take ma another one. But it's going to miss, which actually frees me up of the rollout to actually swap out my Amuga. So I was like, that's cool. I did some good damage to Weezing. Uh, I can probably bring that in later on. So going to the Electrode, I know they can take a Flamethrower for, um, from a Weezing. Um, Electrode's got decent special effects. So that's good. Uh, it does about, uh, you know... Close to a quarter damage from my Electrode. Now I'm going for Thunder. It misses. I'm like, oh, bugger. That was really important. And uh, now the uh, the Weezing is going to go for Poison Gas, which is interesting. You don't see Poison Gas used in singles very often. So that's going to do a fixed amount of damage uh, right away. So more than like a normal toxic damage. But it always does that fixed damage every time instead of just stacking in damage. Thunder misses again. And now, now the Weezing is going to go for the Sludge Bomb on my Electrode. And guess what, people? Since it was fixed damage, my Electrode is down. Oh, man. So... I started off really lucky, but then my luck is just like, it's, I don't know, the, the wheels have fallen off, people. All right, so now I'm bringing in my Vivlom. So this set was a special set. Now on this, I've got Compound Eyes with the fly -in MZ coming off Hurricane, so that's good. I know this is going to be enough to take out the Weezing. Weezing special defense isn't, you know, the greatest in the world. I've also got Giga Drain, Bug Buzz, and Sleep Powder, so not, not, uh, not a bad set, actually. I really like the um, Pokeball Vivlom pattern. It's really cool. Um, I, I hope we, uh, maybe we'll see another couple of patterns from this Pokemon in the future. That'd be sweet. Okay, so taking up Weezing with the, uh, with Hurricane, Z Hurricane, Fly Inium Z. Now we have Gyarados coming out. Now, at this point, I was like, oh, this is going to be a Mono Poison Day, but it's not. The big boy's coming out. So, uh, the best thing I can do is go for the Hurricane and hope for a Confusion. I know it's not going to be enough to take it out. Obviously, Gyarados is quite bulky. But, uh, actually, with the Hurricane, I get a crit here, which is really good. So, that sort of makes up for the Thunder missing before. Now, Garrace is going to go for the Stone Edge, and there's no way in this wide world I'm going to leave that one, and Vivlon is down. But Vivlon did nice there, got rid of the Weezing, and dented the Gyarados. So now bringing in Among Us again, got some regenerator health back from uh, earlier on, if you remember my roll, I actually did miss. Now, Gyarados is going to go for the Ice Fang, which doesn't take me out. I just live on this one, going for the Foul Play, because I thought that would be the best move, other than going for Rollout, and Foul Play is enough to take out the Gyarados. So that was wonderful. 
Um, I can even swap out here and get another regenerate boost. So Meowth is going to come out. I know that it's going to go for a fake out, but I thought... Uh, just in case it doesn't, it tries to set up maybe like a home clause or something. I am going to keep this in. So it's going to be a fake out with a normal gem, and that's going to take out Amogus. It's so I was sort of like, man, that's fine. I've still got two other Pokemon remaining that can deal with this. So now, swapping in Fungus, which is a really uh, decent uh, Pokemon too. So on this set, we've got a max health and max defense. We've got my favorite healing move, Toxic uh, Clear Smog, so you can't get set up on. And foul play on this one too. Foul play is quite important on this. Also had Everlight as the item and Regenerator too. So I could work with the Amungus and Fungus with the Regenerator. Work uh, rather nicely. Okay, anyway, so the Meowth is actually going to swap out here. And uh, Wobbuffet is going to come in. So Wobbuffet is quite an annoying Pokemon to deal with. However, you can set up on it and uh, a lot of things like that. Uh, but if you, you know, if you're choice or something like that, it can be uh, very annoying with Counter and Miracle. So I've got the Toxic up on uh, the big Wobbuffet. I, I quite like Wobbuffet. It's quite a, it's a very interesting Pokemon. So now, uh, there's not a lot I can do apart from go for the foul play. Um, I haven't revealed the like, clear smog yet, so I just went for foul play for some damage. Now, Wobbuffet's going to go for the counter. Since I hit it uh, for that, it's going to do double damage, almost taking him out. So I thought, well, this, I can go for clear, uh, clear smog here, and they'll probably go for a counter again, expecting that. So uh, that's what I did. However, people, it's going to use a Z move, and you guys know what this is going to be. It's going to be Z counter. Now, I've actually run this on uh, Puky Muka, and I've also run on Wobbuffet itself. It's quite hilarious. Right, so the big boy is going to go for the all-out pummeling on counter. Uh, this is, I think this is like the weakest all-out pummeling, if I remember correctly. So uh, this actually hits me right, guys. It hits me so hard, people. Watch this. Ready? That there was a critical hit. What the hell? So it comes up with mighty thumping attack. I'm going to go for the clear smog here, and I'm going to do uh, minimal damage to the Wobbuffet. However, the uh, Toxic is actually doing some nice damage to it. Right, uh, so now the Wobbuffet uh, can either go for a Miracote predicting me or go for a counter. Decide to double up on the clear smog again, and uh, Wobbuffet's going to go for a counter. Doesn't really matter if Amungus goes down, sorry, Fungus goes down here. Sorry, I'm getting my mushrooms mixed up. And uh, Wobbuffet is almost down here. So I can go for the foul play and just finish it off, and that is all good, man. That 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 Z counter was absolutely brilliant, man. I just, I, lucky I had the Everlight, people. Whew. So now the Wobbuffet's down. The last Pokemon is the Meowth. Now, obviously, I know that it's going to go for the Fake Out. That's fine. Um, I don't really want to swap uh, my next Pokemon into it. I just want to fresh swap it. So Meowth's going to go for the uh, Fake Out, taking out my Fungus, which is basically exactly the same as how Amungus went down. So I left the best to last, people. We've got Majana. Now, Majana uh, obviously depicts the Pokeball really, really well. Obviously, we don't have the full Pokeball form. That would be uh, really cool when that comes out. I'm not sure whenever that will, uh, but it'll be fun to use. Anyway, um, I actually get flinched by Bite there, which sucks. So this was a physical Majana. Obviously, I wasn't using special one. That's very, very strong uh, with Soul Hype. So on this, <laughs> we had Max Attack, Max Speed. We got Iron Head, Brick Break, Shift Gear, and Giga Impact. I finished it off the mouth with a Giga Impact, and that's down. Now, I was actually able to get a Majana Sweep with this uh, exact set. If you'd like me to put it up, people, let me know in the comment section. So we have uh, next battle on my chat. This one was against Eckhard. So a nice, uh, close battle in the end there, too. So we got the Toracat lead, and uh, now I'm, I'm, I'm my my uh, Spidey senses are sending a fake out on Voltorb. Now Voltorb uh, has got Focus Sash, and the Mirror Coat works really nicely with Focus Sash. So I've got to swap it out and go into Fungus just to take that here. Then you know if it does, uh, you know if it does some chip damage, I can just swap it out and get all my regenerated health back. So I knew this would have Flare Blitz, right? So I actually kept it in to do some recall and then go for the foul play myself. I thought I'd be able to tank this one, and uh, you know I actually do, which is uh, really really nice. That does some good. Uh, damage to the Toracate. Now I can go for the foul play and then I can actually swap out my Fungus and get some regenerator damage off. Unfortunately for me, that wasn't enough to actually take it out. So now swapping out uh, my Fungus, getting some regener regenerator damage and going into Electro. So I know that I can probably live uh, attack from this. Now they obviously predicted the switch and went for the Outrage. Uh, that was pretty good damage to my Electrode. Uh, now I can simply go for the Volt Switch to take this out. And that is Toracat down as it's locked into Outrage and obviously they can't swap or anything like that. It's interesting that gets Outrage. That's cool. Light Outrage, it's a yeah, really cool move. The sad thing about it is, right, you're locked in, and, you know, usually Dragon Claw is uh, more of a superior move, especially with all the fairy types and stuff running around. Right, so now we have the uh, big 69-inch uh, tires coming out, which is Whirlipede. So I can't really do a lot to this. I may as well get, you know, another free regenerator boost, and I'm going to go into Electrode. So Electrode's a nice, fast Pokemon. I might be able to counter this speed boost. So Whirlipede's going to go for the Iron Defense. I love that animation. It's so cool. Uh, boosting its defense by two stages. So if it has Everlight, it's going to be very, very bulky. So obviously it's got the speed boost. Um, 
Now, obviously, I know that I can outspeed it after one. Thunder misses again. Really important there. And now it's going to go for the rollout. So it's a very, very bulky defense. And the rollout is actually going to uh, boost increasingly every time. And it's going to get really fast too. So I'm know, not sure that I'm going to be able to outspeed it this time, which I'm not. Uh, obviously, depending on the EVs. And the second uh, rollout almost takes me out. Thunder connects this time, thank goodness. I really needed two Thunders to connect uh, with the uh, Everlight. That makes it a little bit bulky. Uh, don't get a Paralyze or anything, and unfortunately, uh, my Electrode is going to go down to this one. There's not really much I can do. I'm just going to leave it in because, uh, obviously, Rollout is getting exponentially... Uh, you know, more powerful. So Electro is going to go down. However, it does have Aftermath, which is nice, and that's enough to take out the Whirlpeep. So my option here is to swap in my Volt Orb. It does have a Focus Sash. Um, that's going to be able to tank the Rollout nicely. However, I'm going to burn up my Mirror Coat, which I don't really want to do. But I don't have much for choice at the moment because this thing is hitting really hard. And it's really fast too. And obviously this team doesn't have really any priority at all. So Rollout hits my Volt Orb, takes it all the way down to the Focus Sash. That's cool. I can either go for the Thunderbolt or Volt Switch. I went for the Thunderbolt because I needed some damage to take it out. And you know, that's all good. The Whirlipede is down. But I took uh, the sacrifice of my Electro to take that down. And I sacrificed my Focus Sash too. So uh, quite a lot. So now we have Houndour coming. I was thinking maybe it's got Sucker Punch. I decided to stay in in case it had. Uh, it didn't have. I thought it can actually have Pursuit too. So I thought I may as well just stay in anyway. I got some Aftermath damage off, which was good. In case it had Focus Sash or anything, that's gone. So now I can swap in my Amoongus. I thought this would be interesting. I've got Assault Vest. I can go for the rollouts here and try and get that rollout meta happening. Right, so Houndour actually swaps out. It, it, it's scared of rollout. So now we have the Victory, <laughs> Victory Bell coming in. So this is pretty interesting. So Victory Bell is going to um, you know, be a pretty good choice for me, actually. It can't really do too much. So rollout uh, hits uh, not pretty good there for the first one. So now it's going to go for the Ring Out. Now Ring Out is based on health. As I said, I've got an Assault Vest, so this is going to do donkeys to me. Now, going for my second rollout. Now, Victory Bell is going to ha start having problems after the, th uh, the third one because I'm actually going to hit really, really hard. So now it's going to go for the Acid Spray. Then that's going to drop my Special Defense on Among Us, uh, which is a little bit of a pain. I can see what they're doing here. Uh, and they're probably going to... I was thinking, well, even if they sacrifice the Victory Bell, right, they can probably bring in that Hounder and go for a Flamethrower afterwards, something like that. So now it just hangs on by a little bit of health, and I'm going to hit by another Acid Spray, starting to drop my Special Defense. So I do have a Salt Vest, but my Special Defense is at negative 4, so that's not good. Going for another rollout, finally taking out the Victor Rail on the 4th rollout. It gets a crit. Of course I get the crit then, I would love that earlier on. So Victor Rail is down. Now we got the Houndour coming in. Obviously it's going to go for a Fire Type move against me. And uh, that's my Among Us is going to be toast. So instead of going for a Fire Type move, I was like, I was thinking that all the time. You know, it's going to be a definite flamethrower. There's no way I'm going to be able to live that. It go for the Destiny Bond and said, maybe they weren't confident they could take it out. I'm not sure. But Houndu is down anyway. And uh, I'm going to go down to the Destiny Bond. So uh, Houndu is down and I'm down. So a double KO there. Um, I, I think maybe if it had no special attack investment, I'm not sure. Maybe it's like a utility one or something. Not sure. So now we have the Omasa coming out. Now this is where things start to get, uh, you know, not very good for me. So Fungus here can go for Toxic or it can go for the Foul Play. Uh, the Omasa is going to go for the Shell Smash. So this is really bad. I've got, you know, I've really got to get rid of this Pokemon. I was thinking, is it going to be a special attacker or is it going to be a physical attacker? Either way, it's going to outspeed like most of my team and uh, sweep me. So I've got to get rid of it. So it's got the White Herd there to return its stats to normal. It's drops and such. Uh, go for the Toxic, which is good. Now, with Toxic, you need a couple, you know, you need some time for it to actually build up and take the almost out. Uh, the problem is, it's already got a Shell Smash up and I've already lost half my team. So those are what I was thinking at the moment. Uh, now, the Amasar is actually going to go. Uh, I went for the swap because I thought. Well, I can swap in my Vivlon because it really can't do too much. I'm not going to be able to outspeed. It's going to go for the Blizzard. So I'm like, ah, that's that's kind of good because uh, I know that I lost Vivlon, but there wasn't much. I, could, no, I had nothing to swap into a Shell Smash Blizzard. So now I thought, well, I've got my Fungus here. I can swap that in because it's rather bulky in Special Defense. Um, it can't really go for a Water-type move. I mean, it could, or I could go for a Blizzard again. If it goes for Blizzard, I think I got a chance at actually living that. Goes for the Blizzard, and of course, it connects this time, and that's an actually enough to take me out. So I was like, oh, I thought I actually might live that really, really badly, but I didn't. So the last Pokemon um, I'm down to is Majana. Now, I know Majana can take the Blizzard, but it does have some sort of water time move. I'm going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be in trouble. So I need to go for the Shift Gear. I've got to get my speed up and my attack up, because Majana's attack stat is rather bad. It's got Water Gun! It's absolutely savage so it's a three hit ko with water gun i can't believe i'm saying that going for the shift gear on majana so that's going to give me a plus two in speed and one in tap i wonder if i would have been able to live a uh i think i could have barely lived a surf but a hydro pump could have been 
Yeah, that would have been quite uh, bad. So anyway, the Omas is going to go for yet another water gun on my Mage Hunter, which is actually going to put me in range to eat my Leechy Berry, which is the item I had on it. So Shift Gear giving you speed, a plus one in attack too, and the Leechy Berry also giving another plus in attack. So going for a Brick Break and taking out the Master. So that's really good, finally getting rid of that thing. It's a very, very dangerous Pokemon, even, even with water gun people. So I get a Soul Heart, which is going to help me out so much. And uh, now the last Pokemon we have is the Brioni. So I'm like... Oh, this is not good because I, 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 I can't really use Iron Head. Uh, Brick Break's not going to take it out. The only other move I've got is Giga Impact. And it fails to kill. Oh, no. So now Brown is going to go for a workup. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. Unfortunately, I'm on cooldown. There's, obviously, there's no way they could have known I went for the uh, Giga Impact. And uh, now it's going to go for the Aqua Jet, which is enough, obviously, to take me out. Oh, man. That should have killed. Anyway, people, I hope you enjoyed both battles. Enjoy the bloopers.